Right, so everybody, welcome back down to a brand new lesson. I brought a guest with me today. It's Dubai's best looking golf coach. Oh. It's Mr. Andrew Carter. And we're down on the first green of the fire course. And I thought, well, why I've got a friend with me, I can do something that I really advocate for your chipping. And that's having a chipping comp. Mm. Good old junior days, yeah. chipping comp, first to three. But what we're going to do is we're going to coach you as we play these shots as well. So the shot that you intend to hit, you have to describe it, tell them how you're going to play it okay. and go from there. So first hole, are we playing dropping as well each time, Andy? Okay, I'm yeah. That. yeah, I think this, this does bring back the junior days. I think dropping's a great way because you never really get to place it that much on the golf course, do you? Knee height. Knee height, drop it, first hole, up here, so it's first to three. We've both got a 58 degree wedge in. Let's see, what, what are you seeing, what are you playing? Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is kind of read the green a little bit. So I can see edge of the bunker, slope going down towards the flag, definitely left to right from this angle. It's gonna be quite fast as it runs away, so I'm gonna be trying to hit this ball about six to eight foot left of the flag. Um, what I like to do, I like to kind of weaken this left hand grip, so my hand's kind of a little bit less active, I'm just going to use my body, and I'm going to try and go in with a bit of spin. Sounds great, let's see if you've uh, you've got the talent to play it. I've got a really good imagination for these shots, <laughs> I can describe them, but hmm, an expert. That was a lovely, great little nifty spin. That was. And, uh, <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Come to Dubai, he said. It'll be great. Oh, that look. was really nice, though. Really, really nice. And I think the whole process of you talking through it gets your mind ready for what you're about to do, doesn't it? Might start doing that for every shot. Instead play. of just thinking, well, as you stood over it, about to swing, I'll try and land it there. <laughs> um, I'm going to play it uh, yeah, pretty similar. I'm going to try and play it with a little bit more height, though. I think one thing I've found out here, you can't dig it as much can you? Nope. You've got to try and let the bounce slide underneath so as I play this I'm not going to get the handle leaning as much I'm going to feel that the handle and the club head match as I actually impact this. Um, he says again a great talker has he got. Yeah the chipping out here you definitely got to use a lot more of the body you got to turn and release the body yeah. releasing the club base as well you I can't definitely think hold that. on to it. That left hand being a bit weaker, so turned towards the target yep. helps as well, because also adds a little bit of loft into the equation, doesn't it? It certainly does. It generally opens the face as you go back, and we'll just stabilise it on the way through. Big talk. I backed it up. So it's a shot. How you are? And today, played that lovely. In today's six context, feet but that is 1-0 to Andy Carter. A good start there to your, your chipping challenge, Andrew. Thank you very much. Thank so you. we've headed over. We are firing back into the sun here, so I won't point the camera that way that much, but you will get the other angle. Um, horrible, juicy, yeah. rough. So actually, believe it or not, this has just been cut down. It was crazy, crazy long for the European Tour event. Crazy long. I don't know how they got out of it. However, it still produces some bad lights. But not in this case. That one's good for Andrew. Right, so coming out of the rough. Yeah. Generally want to try and maintain the loft on the club face, get that softer landing, particularly on this shot. It's kind of moving, it's going away from us slightly downhill. It is slightly into wind. That does make a bit of a difference. Once you add a bit of backspin into wind, it will help settle the ball down a bit quicker. Okay. Um, so you obviously most lofted club. Will you open it up at all? No, not, not for this shot. Uh, I'm going to just try and pick a landing point, probably about halfway onto the green. With greens in Dubai generally relative, quite receptive, so just a good strike generally does the trick. Will you try and get steeper at all, or to try and chop it out of the rough, or no, what's the? No, I'm just going middle of my middle of my stance, just a very try and keep it as conventional as possible. Okay. Standard club face, standard kind of the generic chipping setup, narrow stance, ball position in the centre. I do weaken that left hand grip quite a bit just to get a feel that the body has to kind of get me through, especially on the rough shots, because it makes you, it stops you from decelerating. Yeah, adds you that know, speed in. Yeah, you're going to keep your body ro rotating through the shot. Popped it up, decent strike, it needs to sit a little bit, it's kind of about four foot, five foot, six foot, six foot too big. Not bad, not bad. Alright, landed a bit too far to be fair, decent strike. Might 
to just drop it where you've been stood here to get a better line. <laughs> no, I won't do that, I'm not that way. Oh, 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 oh. I wish I would have done. Right. Now, I, I agree with everything you say there. I'm actually, because it's gone a little bit more buried for myself here, I am going to add a little bit more loft and seeing that you were running away so much. Body weight again a little bit more towards the lead side just to help me get down into the back of it. But like Andy said, got to keep turning. I think a lot of chipping problems come from when the body sort of shuts down and we get this motion yeah. as we're going in. Classic. So, same with Andy. Left hand slightly weaker. Keep that body turning and then try and pick that landing spot I think is always a great idea so you're visualising everything that's going on so I'm going to try and land this probably two or three feet past the shadow of the uh, the flag. And you're looking at that little pitch mark. Yeah that's so it. Someone's, so someone's not repaired a pitch mark but it's a perfect landing area. Yeah, that's that's dead good. Oh, it's gone next to that pitch mark as well. Sit, sit, sit. It's sit, still rolling sit, though. It's still sit. rolling. We're going to need a steward's inquiry. Uh, I think you might have just pinched it there. I think I just, just, I think for landing next to the pitch mark that I said I was going to. Oh, actually. Oh, hello, it's me. It's, it's me by, by easy, easy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it probably is by half a foot. Back. Back then, well, first to three, wasn't it? So, got some, some work to do here for me to, uh, to get this one back. Let's go on to the next shot. Right, Andy, so next shot, if you, if you get this one close, you win, by the way. Could be your first three win. Zip. <laughs> so, three zip, that would be embarrassing. We've got a pretty, pretty common shot here, a slight upslope going up over a bunker, then plenty of green to work with when we get onto the other side. Um, obviously the big one here would be the fear factor of going over the bunker, but also, you know, very, the quitting on it. Very easy to kind of de um, decelerate, quit on it, chunk it, straight into the bunker, your next shot's gonna be harder than the shot you had originally. First thing though, club selection. I wouldn't take this club now. With no, with us being, I yeah. I'd down to a 40, 54 degree, because this slope's gonna act like a little launch pad, which you've already put the ball up into the air. Also going into wind as well, but that had a bit more spin. So I have to hit this a little bit more aggressively to fly it further distance. Um, again, I'm not gonna do too much with the face. I, I will put the ball position ever so slightly back of centre, but not on my back foot. So the shaft lean will be a tiny bit more over, over just, my left side. So, so we've got. I'd say no, normally I'm here, I'm literally going to push it an inch back and an inch forward with the hands. I don't want to go too forward because I don't want to start using the leading edge. I don't want to start digging. Yeah, I think so that's one of the big problems, isn't it? Getting the hands so far ahead of the club head. See that a lot. Yeah, that that's just gonna dig and so that leading edge is sharp. Minute adjustments which will help a couple, a couple of degrees a lot. And again, most important is we keep saying we can that left hand rotate the body. Oh, that is. Oh, a lot of spin, a lot of zip on it. Finished about four foot. Oh, I wouldn't have said that was short the way that went out then. Flew off, didn't it? That was a beauty. Oh. That was quite nice. So, because I did have the handle slightly forward, leading edge dug in a little bit to the upslope, which you'd expect, but the ball flight was lower. Right, Fryer. I am about five feet, I'd say. Wait, how are you playing this? pretty much exactly the same as you would do. I may even, when I get a shot like this, because it is going and obviously we've got the uh, the more lofty club now, I would tend to almost feel that I'm drawing the golf ball a little bit okay, more. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people get taught, well, chop across it and, and slice it as we're here. If I feel like I'm drawing it, I'm gonna keep the body turning and let the hands just roll a little bit more so the spin would then just get that few extra yards into the wind and up the slope and would stop me getting especially with it being an upslope here, getting so steep and just digging it in too much, I feel I brush it off a little bit more. And just get that little... Yeah, I like, that little, I like that little draw spin shot. Can't do it like, but I like it. I can't do it, but... Let's, uh, let's try and play that. Ball position, same as yours. Very minimal shaft lean. Oh, he's 
got another ball out, folks. I've got another go ball on, out. Go on, Fryer. I'll give you two attempts to beat me. It's even more embarrassing. Yeah. This could be 4 0. Four nil Carter. Not as close as mine. No good. Four zip. Four zip. Well, guys, <laughs> it was a uh, was the embarrassment we didn't want here on the channel, but <laughs> you know, hopefully you've learned something from that. That was just a fun challenge, just doing a little bit of a, a chipping comp there. Definitely recommend getting a mate and having these chipping comps because you get into different scenarios that you might not face out on the golf course and ultimately you're learning a lot more. Big thank you to Andy for coming down and actually doing this with me today. Get down to the fire course as well here at Jumeirah. It is beautiful. If you haven't as well already, do make sure you subscribe to that man's channel. All the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in your next lesson. See ya.